So today we're going to showcase uh, this rabbit structure um, brush pile that I developed a few years ago. Um, normal brush piles, after a few years, all the branches kind of weigh down on each other and collapse. And it doesn't give those rabbits enough space to get up underneath to get away from predators and utilize during like harsh weather. Um, we got a lot of snow, wind. They're just trying to get out of the elements. So, right here, we have some uh, dead ash. And what I like to do is cut like a decent sized log, about six to eight inch diameter. Um, I'll cut that into about four or five foot lengths and then kind of stack them up uh, like uh, Lincoln logs. I've also found when I'm making clusters of these brush piles, log, Lincoln log stru structures, like I have one right here and another one right here, is that the white-tailed deer will also utilize them because it's a structure that's going to be three to four foot tall. Them deer will also use these, especially when they're built in clusters, to get out of the wind, snow, and just use them as a backdrop to bed along. So like I mentioned before, I'm just going to cut this log into four or five foot sections and then I'm just going to utilize any other dead and down stuff. There's a, some more trees behind the camera that I'm going to build the structure and then use smaller branches to kind of create a halo of um, structure around the initial Lincoln log. That way predators can't get up inside. <laughs> When you're building these too, you have to take in consideration wind directions that you're going to get during the harsh times during the winter. Uh, here in West Michigan, we get a lot of west north winds when it's like super cold in the winter. So if you're building these in a way that you're offering different huts that offer better wind protection for say like the harsh west and north winds or certain ones that will better suit them when it's like a south wind or east wind just by the direction of those bottom logs. Just giving them different options to hop in and get out of the snow, drifting snow, wind, you name it. On the property that I started building these on before we had these structures we were only seeing about one to three rabbits per hunt. But in the years following, after we had more of these built, the numbers were increasing dramatically. It's not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but you can kind of get the concept. It's a Lincoln log structure, and with this kind of foundation, you can start piling brush on top to kind of give it more of a dome and then what I was kind of mentioning earlier so I branch these branches right here so they kind of have this spot to get sunlight this is facing the south so on those cooler days when the sun's coming out them rabbits can get right next to these logs and soak up that sun and get nice and warm and it kind of prevents uh, or kind of makes a barrier of entry for coyotes, fox, any other predators that are trying to get inside. 
Now when I'm building these, I'm using natural materials. I'm not using skids that are gonna end up rotting and have a bunch of rusty nails and just junk out there. This is just wood that eventually is gonna rot away after years and it's not gonna have any waste left behind. See those vines on these logs I'm picking up? Yep, poison ivy. Ended up breaking out about four or five days later. So if you're allergic to this stuff at all, just be smart and use your head. I'm like me at this moment. As you can see, I piled up a bunch of brush on the Lincoln log. Kind of creates a halo effect or a ring where those rabbits can either stay just on the outside of the Lincoln logs or get inside the crib itself. Um, thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, these also are a great starter project when you're doing bedding areas because you have immediate cover on the ground before all the plants and briars and everything else comes up. So thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for following the Rio Report.